Why are they trying to charge $50 for shipping? Because. something about recording every single day mm -mm. can't do it maybe eventually i probably will but for now no i feel like if my day is filled why not give y'all a vlog you know so yeah make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment subscribe all that good stuff because you know i gotta remind y'all but today we have itinerary and everything we we got the itinerary packed down we woke up a little later than what we were supposed to we were supposed to actually get up earlier it's 11 05 um and we're at an obby lobby right now because y'all i think i'm practically sold out i think maybe i have about three more sweaters left maybe i have to check my laptop but y'all i'm practically almost sold out of my sweater so yeah i have like three or four left so we're going to hobby lobby right now so i can get these stickers to put on the sweaters um i did most of my orders last night i packed the ones that i had to actually send out today but one of the sweaters is missing one letter because hobby lobby ran out of letters like i don't i don't know I really don't it's like they only carry a certain amount of each letter and today i'm gonna go bother them like do y'all got some extra like you know letters in the bag somewhere like do y'all have letters in the bag y'all have to y'all have to have restocks of these like these are popular so yeah y'all we're going to hobby lobby because i have to get the letters i have to ship this stuff out by five o'clock today um usps closes at five i have to ship this stuff out by five then y'all last night i think it took me about four hours to make the five orders i had and then i wrote all the letters for all the packages i have i'm gonna have to write one more and i have to get some more note cards while we're in here y'all my hand was on fire last night i didn't finish till three in the morning i started at 11. so four hours for five packages and some letters yeah you see the math it's, it's a lot so yeah that's what we're doing today and then we might go to the coffee shop i don't think it'll take me long today to do these sweaters because I'm just gonna go downstairs and put them across the table and just knock them out throw that iron on there real quick knock it out and plus I was on live yesterday so that kind of made it like you know slow down um so yeah I'll talk to you guys when we get to Hobby Lobby um good news I found a E to finish the five orders that are due today bad news is they didn't have any letters really they only had one letter so I can make one more order today but I still have to find a bunch of letters like I'm missing a bunch y'all like and it's kind of getting annoying because every Hobby Lobby I'm going to is missing letters and like I have deadlines and I'm not making them so yeah right now I'm looking at these because my grandma wants earrings for her birthday that's coming up next week so I'm just looking to see what jewelry they have um to make earrings for her i was like i'm gonna just make her like a couple sets these are kind of cute i feel like my grandma will wear these but yeah we're just looking right now because i want her to get her like i want to get her something that i know she'll wear um, it's hot y'all i'm starting to feel hot and over like and over stimulated because stuff is not moving how it should be um i also got some pink pack packages or whatever for the next sweaters I want to drop. We're at another one. Y'all see how hard I'm working to find these patches for everybody and this is why I'm only doing 20 sets because we have to go to different Hobby Lobbies to find the freaking patches. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so Davion got us some Panda Express. He had to go get a four because the lady only gave us one. I don't know what's with all these companies today just slacking. Then I just went on Amazon to see if I could find the patches on there and just order them. Y'all, why are they trying to charge $50 for shipping? Because what I'm doing is so popular, like the little Nike logo, that it's literally like you have to wait almost two weeks to get your uh, packet, like the, the letters in. And then Hobby Lobby says they're not even, they're not restocking for like another two days. So I have to wait two days, but I have six orders that have to be out tomorrow it's just like bro like i have enough to get my orders out today and i gotta go like back and do that today before we leave 
before they close today because they close at five and it is 12 26 so you can imagine i have to literally make the orders and everything but yeah i do need to eat because i'm getting a headache did we pray yeah well, i'm forgetting everything I talk to each other. Oh, what's up? Oh my gosh, I'm talking to myself. Yes, oh my God. Yeah, and she's eating the broccoli beef. Well, this is definitely live and learn. Like I know next time, I'm gonna just order everything before I drop. Cause this is stressful, unnecessary, and making my head hurt. I don't want to hit my head off, but mm-mm. I'll see y'all when we get, wherever we go, y'all. Um. I feel like I'm shutting down mentally because it's just like taking too long. Went to the Hobby Lobby by my house yesterday. I'm pretty sure they probably would have had a lot of patches, but they were closed. I don't know if they're closed on Sundays or something, but they were closed. Um, so I was like, okay, great. There goes me trying to get patches by my house. Come back over here. Everybody named Mama has become DIY crafters. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that many people in Hobby Lobby at one time. Then they don't even be getting craft stuff. They be, like, getting decorations and stuff, like, because, you know, they go on sale. So the question is, who taking all the crafts? I mean, it's no, it's no coincidence that literally every single letter that I'm using is gone, especially when it's kind of like a trend. As long as I get the five out that need to be shipped today, I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. But today we gotta get the five out that need to be shipped today. So, yeah, good thing the one that I, like is not fully finished is already like practically made. I just have to put the one patch on there. So it'll be quick, pop the tape on to make sure that it doesn't open or, you know, stuff like that. And it should be good. But I definitely can say that starting a business is rewarding. Um, and me handcrafting everything just makes it feel more rewarding because I'm making everything. That's probably the most interesting one I got. Uh, we found, I found all of my E's. They had so many E's here. And then I found five K's and I also found four N's. So I definitely have enough to get the orders out for tomorrow, today. Um, like I definitely found enough to do the orders for tomorrow, um, today. I get those out. And then by the time they restock, I should be able to have them for, um, I should be able to have them for um, the orders that are gonna go out Friday and stuff, so. I should have enough y'all this has been stressful so next time i do this i'm just gonna order bulk orders of everything before i do it if i do clothes or find a vendor who can like give me what i need in bulks or just buy it ahead of time and just already have it done because this was a lot and i just went ahead and got two extra e's to get it out the way just in case so yeah all right y'all so um we went to Hobby Lobby, y'all, and I dropped like $30. Um, I got some more of the letters for my packaging because every single order that I have is getting a custom letter. I literally stayed up last night writing every single person who ordered a customized letter. Um, they had a bunch of E's, kind of. They had one, two, three, let me see, four. They had four E's, one in, and Y'all, they didn't have that much. And I think four Ks. So I need to take that off in my my list of things I need. Cause I had to go, I had to write an itinerary to make sure I didn't get off track, y'all. Like I'm gonna have to like go back to Davion's crib and make these sweaters fast. Um so I need 12 E's. Wait, 13 minus four. What's 13 minus four? Nine E's. 12, 11 ends because they didn't have one and they have four k's so i need nine k's and i don't need no more clear packing tape so yeah i just got to get these letters y'all um all my patches have came in 
and try this just to give you a little sneak peek of what I want to drop next if I can find enough lettering for it because I kind of bought some extra this right now I'm probably only gonna do 10 of these and I'm gonna charge probably $70 because these patches are way more pricey and not easy to come by but these right here and then we're gonna do B and G on like a light pink sweater oh that's gonna eat so bad and it's like little letters this time so it's not like big like dainty looking yep yep then i got my grandma some um some earrings to make for her birthday because that's what she wanted for her birthday so i got her stuff to make her earrings she wants some earrings she want to be a, a ear stepper so yeah we're about to go to this other hobby lobby i we didn't have to go but davion took me um to see if they have some more letters here supportive boyfriend things y'all know how that goes Lord willing, they have literally they have what you call it. Um, they just have like a shortage on patches right now. I don't know why. And particularly, 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 the patches I need. So that's annoying. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys when you get to Hobby Lobby. Pray for me that they have them because I need them. I was stuck in my mind. I couldn't get out. I need it. It felt like a prison. Forever was doing my time. I need your words so I could break out of mine. <laughs> Why would I believe a lie? I needed the truth. I'm sick of your mind. Let me go down to the roof. I'm done being quiet. I'm speaking my mind. We gon' do this all the time. y'all so i just finished all my orders um one of them i don't remember him ordering anything so i'm gonna have to ship his thing out tomorrow because i don't remember him ordering it it did not even show last night when i did the handheld cards for everybody like his order was not there so i'm gonna have to order him one and hopefully he can come tomorrow but i was just confused because i was like where did this order come from but yeah, I finished. I have two mediums, but I think these are for some orders that I got yesterday. They ended up shipping them today, and I paid extra to just get them to come today. So I think that's why I have those here. And I am expecting some more sweaters today, so I probably will end up making some more tonight so I can just, you know, be done with it. But I am still missing, like, the main patches that I need for the eye. So the ones that are supposed to be out today and tomorrow, they're going out today except one because I don't... I don't remember him making an order. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So I had to make him a card and all that. And I'm not about to stress myself out. He'll get it. He will get it. Um. So yeah. That's what we're doing. We're about to go to USPS to deliver them. My first set of orders to be delivered. Too cool. Um. So yeah, I feel like I look definitely like a craftsman with these pants and these shoes on in particular. 
but yeah that is five that's 10 orders right there so that's half of the amount of orders that have to be shipped so yeah i feel so cool you know the vibes so yeah i'll talk to you guys when we're in the car because we got to get this stuff in the car and stuff and i need to find my glasses i don't know where they at all right also we just dropped um the packages off it was way easier than i thought it was like we literally just dropped it off like that was it yeah y'all that feels so good to just like have made all those sweaters and just dropped them off and somebody somewhere in the next week or so is going to be having my sweaters on and i wrote handwritten letters for everybody so every single person has like a different letter that's written with like it's not some of it's like verbatim like thank you for shopping with my brand and like if you post tag me but like i try to make every single one sentimental to some extent so yeah i still have about 10 more orders i'm gonna have to do i still be getting orders and y'all looked on etsy and 33 of my like it said like 33 people have my things sitting in their cart so like 33 people are probably ready to check out or like waiting for funds to hit or something to try to get it so that's like insane to me that like probably maybe more now like 33 people are just waiting to purchase my thing and i think for like out of the thousand or so views i think my thing on etsy got like 1700 views and i know that's just from people being nosy too um for my social media but like i know that people were just actually viewing my stuff and like interested in it so about 40 people wanted to buy something out of the 1700 that's crazy so i already know when i start making these charm bracelets y'all it's gonna be a wrap like it's gonna be ggs like i already know they're gonna sell out so fast and that's probably gonna be the thing that brings a lot of money in for me i feel like the charm bracelet is gonna be like what like changes the game for me and like my clothes are just gonna be like a kind of like a a side side coin if you get what i'm saying like those are just gonna be things that i do every now and then but i do have another clothing idea and that that creative thing that they like brought up before saying that like when you're a creator or you make clothes and stuff like that like how one thing drops and like you get ideas instantly that's like really true like when you do one thing it's like your mind starts thinking of what you can do next and then what you can do next after that you have to be like okay slow down one thing at a time one thing at a time but that is definitely a thing for real i think it happens with content creating as well like you get an idea and things just start flowing and right now content i've just been really going with the flow i don't really know y'all but we're about to go to dutch bros y'all already know that's my favorite place to drink right now and i actually need some coffee i'm tired y'all like i've been these last two days y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all i have been tired like tired and I'm not really a person who's like tired for real, but I've been like tired. Like I could really lay in bed today and take a nap. I could really lay down and just nap for real, but I can't. So, cause we have things to do. I got emails to respond to as well. Like a bunch of hair companies emailed me last night and I didn't respond cause I was asleep. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. I do gotta post one video today, one video tomorrow for this hair company like you see nothing stops the grind don't stop just because i started business i still got content that i have to like adhere to and continue to do like hair videos but that hair them, that hair money be adding up y'all them hair companies be paying these brands and then invest it back into yourself that's what i'm doing i'm getting that money and i'm investing back into myself so i can start my own business and really work for myself and i have to like answer to no brands unless it's something big because honestly like i don't i don't want to be working for hair companies for the rest of my life like no so yeah i'll talk to you guys whenever we get to dutch bros they don't just be listening to me ran all right y'all so we just ordered our dutch bros i got the golden eagle picture perfect y'all always be asking me what drink you be getting Harry? what drink you be getting that's the drink i get golden eagle picture perfect picture perfect yeah and he which one did you get did you go to uh, candy 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 shake Oh, I thought you changed it to the other one he was talking about. Heck no. Nah. Yeah, so he got the cotton candy, which was actually good. It wasn't green though, it was like blue and purple. Tell you the mug was like green. You're gonna see it and it's not green at all. But yeah, y'all, um, we just ordered that and y'all I love Dutch Bros. Like I'm so mad that I slept on it for so long. Oh yeah, it is blue. I told you. Thank you so much. Oh it do look green. Oh, can you go picture perfect? 
Would you like straws today? Yes, yes ma please. Ma please. Yeah. What we got? Mm, thank you, guys. Thank you. You too. That thing do look green. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, his drink do look green. I thought it was like blue. I got it. I got a park. It looks kind of blue. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm about to park the car real quick, y'all. Hold on, man, real quick. This is like my favorite spot now. Me and Davion come here all the time now. And then like this is a medium. You get a medium from Starbucks, baby. Small. Dunkin' actually has really big medium sizes too. Like this is a medium drink. So is this your favorite place? Mm-hmm. It tastes like coffee I'll make at home. This just tastes good. Mm -hmm. This is the only thing I've ever gotten from here. Yeah, so um, we got our coffee. We're going to probably find like, a little coffee shop. And I also brought my Bible because we have not had a Bible study in a minute, y'all. Like, I spiritually need to have a Bible study. Like, I haven't like really got into my word the way I have in a minute. I'll see you at the coffee shop. Yeah, I haven't really got into my word the way I need to, so we definitely need to like read some of the Bible. All right, y'all. So we're outside of Starbucks right now. I'm looking at my email. I'm about to respond to these hair pages. Um, y'all, Etsy is playing with me. They are literally sitting here trying to say that I didn't ship my stuff out, um, even though y'all just saw me go ship my stuff out. So like, they have deadlines. So you're supposed to ship things out, and you're supposed to do them by the certain day. Well, today's April first. I was supposed to ship out five orders today. They're shipped out. I actually or shipped out five other orders that were due tomorrow except one girl because her sweater didn't come in it's coming in today a little later but i'm gonna turn it in tomorrow or whatever um with some more of them i'm gonna just turn them in early but they're like pretty much putting my money on hold so y'all i'm not getting no money right now like i'm literally not getting paid nothing um they're trying to hold my money and then they took some of my money out and put it in reserve saying that well if somebody cancels and all this stuff because i print my shipping labels out and then I brought all of them together. So because I didn't drop it off and it didn't get scanned an hour after my labels were made, they're trying to say that like I'm scamming. So until USPS scans my orders and shows that they're like legitimately there, I'm not gonna get none of my money, y'all. Which is annoying, but I'm gonna just pray about it and I'm gonna let it go because I'm not broke. The Lord still provides. I still have money in my bank account. I'm fine. It's just the principle that like y'all saw me work hard. Like I be working, y'all. I was up all night trying to make sure everything was done that's why i feel like i'm irritated about this so all that's really motivating me to do is actually just make my own website so that i can move on my own schedule and not have to abide by a company's what like rules and stuff like that because keeping money that i deserve is crazy like knowing that i put all this work in and i'm not receiving my money is like kind of what's that word um unmotivating like it makes me not want to like do anything else because it's like okay i do everything i'll say i ship everything out when y'all tell me to and y'all hold my money but, um so i'm about to respond to these emails as y'all can see we looking at a hair company right now y'all my sisters broke this thing and yeah <sighs> so we'll see tonight i'm gonna just make all my my things or whatever and i'm not gonna ship my label i'm not gonna print my labels out until literally i'm about to go up to usps to drop them off because the way they're operating i can't do nothing like it's like kind of frustrating and annoying um so it is what it is i'm just responding to some emails and then davion wants to go to walmart today so we can get his um his thing for his stream Make sure y'all subscribe to our couples channel because we're about to actually probably brainstorm some ideas for that. And I might get these Legos, like the Lego flowers today because I've been wanting some. So I'm probably going to get some of those today as a treat to myself for all the hard work I've been putting in. I want the realest. Where he come from, you can't get that with a PJ. All 
All right, y'all. So we're back at Davion's crib. I ended up getting some Olive Garden. Um, I ended up getting some Olive Garden. I just got a kid's Alfredo with broccoli and shrimp because that's actually a pretty big meal for me. And then Davion ended up getting the six dollar entree to add on to it because it's an entree. Like, why not? Um, we had to stop at Hobby Lobby to get a crew neck that literally got delayed. The one that I was supposed to be shipping off today that I told you guys about earlier ended up getting delayed. So I had to go buy another one because they keep messing up stuff. Um, so I had to go buy one, which was annoying and frustrating, but luckily they were 30% off. I'm about to eat though because y'all, I'm like starving and I'm ready to tear this food up. Michelle, and then they gave us the wrong meal, y'all. So we went and they ended up giving us somebody else's food. It was like chicken scampi and salad but yeah mm -mm -mm. let's pray real quick thank you lord for this food i ask that you make a nourish for our body thank you for the people who are watching i ask that you bless them fulfill them give them purpose give them life and fill you up with you and what you have for them in jesus name i pray amen so yeah i'm about to eat watch some youtube and i'll probably come back when we're about to do the Legos because I'm really excited about this I need to let my phone charge up though so I'm probably about to just watch some YouTube and we'll do this and then I'll probably make two of my sweaters tonight um y'all Etsy <sighs> I didn't literally get paid for them it's so annoying. I'm probably just gonna make my own website so I don't have to deal with these problems moving forward let you learn um you just learn as you go with businesses so yeah I will talk to you guys in a little bit yeah y'all as y'all can see, my hair looks a mess. I'm about to actually build my Lego flowers. Um, Danielle is streaming right now, so I'm trying to let him do that because he has his like lights off. He wants his lights off, so I don't know. But I'm about to build my Lego flowers because I'm excited to do that. I've been thinking about it for like the last two hours. I just was watching YouTube and then I was doing some stuff for my business. Um, I'm going to make a couple orders before I go to sleep tonight and I'm going to package one of them because they're already like labeled and stuff like that. I just have to literally make it because I went and bought the thing for it. So yeah, um, I'm about to make the Legos and this probably is going to take a couple hours because I heard it's not easy to build. It's like tedious. Pieces are small so I'm probably going to do like a time lapse type deal or something. I don't know but it's going to take a minute so we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And that'll probably be the end of today's vlog. I feel like today was very much chaotic and it gave y'all entertainment. Y'all saw me package orders. Y'all saw me deliver my first ever orders that I've ever done. People are, they are on me about these bracelets. <laughs> I'm going to be dropping them sooner than I thought because people really want these bracelets. So yeah, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. But we don't, we don't get there. So I'm just going to start this, these Legos y'all can see it a little better this is how it looks it's the orchards um I'm about to build it or try to and i've been wanting some lego flowers for a while i've always thought it was like the cutest gesture ever so i got myself some um this is from the botanical collection orchid and yeah it has a lot of pieces y'all this is not gonna be a two-step thing 608 pieces. We're just gonna go ahead and try to build it. Pack this bad boy up. Pass me the box. Y'all, I'm like about to break a nail. Like, literally about to break a nail. Like, they made that, they made that box like, um, unbreakable. Like, that thing is like a cereal box. That's how they should make cereal boxes for parents who don't want their kids eating stuff. Like, that thing looks like... I don't know if you want to take it out the box. No. And we done came way too far. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like, y'all. Yep. It's me y'all know already. So when you open it, it has, like, different packs. So it has four packs, like this. Has pack one. I don't know if you see that. Pack one. Pack two. Pack three, which I'm assuming is like the green part. And pack four, which is the flowers. Um, 
not gonna lie, this is probably gonna be done in segments because this looks complicated. And then it comes with these two sticks, which I'm, a, um, I'm assuming is something important. They're right here. Oh, they go in the flowers. Oh. It tells you how to build it, y'all. There's a whole pamphlet here that literally explains how to build flowers. And you think I'm gonna buy some flowers when I'm building these? Girl, please. Like, it's a lot. And you wouldn't even think that it took this long, but it does. Imagine the ones that are like the... The variety of flowers. Yeah. Pack one does this little detail thing. Pack two makes a base around it. Pack three starts the leaves. And pack four does the flowers. Oh, so it's literally done in Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's how my pump number one completely out. And it tells you what pieces to start with. Yep. So we're just gonna fast forward y'all through this process because I'm not gonna talk through this. part looks we actually did it pretty fast if you ask me it's actually really complex and cool it's not even as hard as i thought it would be this is definitely easier than a puzzle if you not follow instructions but this is how it looks this is probably about 50 pieces 60 pieces right here um now we're about to do number six there's like one piece that is just sitting here i'm like did i mess up or something because i don't know where that would have to go but other than that, we finished it. Now we're about to move on to bag two, which is this, and this is the outside of the base. This is the vase of the Legos. Watch find that point of view. We built it. Well, I built most of all of it because he went and got us ice cream, as y'all can see. But this is the vase. Like, we just built a flower pot, y'all. All right. Like, I cannot wait to put this in my room. That's the, the green. And I feel like it's not going to take long. I feel like they give us extra pieces. Like, small pieces. They can be losable. finished it looks so good it took us probably two hours to do legitimately about two hours to do but it's fun i'm just kind of tired now um because it's late it's 
two in the morning. Um, but we finished it. Looks really good. It's definitely gonna go in my room. It matches my room really well. Thanks, Davion, for helping me. He hates me. Oh. Really cute. I love it. This is how it looks close up. Y'all can't tell me it's not the cutest thing ever. Like, this is something that I've always wanted. It's always been on my book at this to receive. And we did it. So freaking cute. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to close this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed this daily vlog as much as I enjoyed filming it. Today was very chaotic, all over the place. Lefts and rights, lefts and rights, but we got through the day. Thank you, Jesus. We got to get through another 24 hours. And yeah, um, if you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I will see you guys in my next video. As always, stay blessed, stay positive. Also, go follow my business page at SD Adornment and also follow me and Davion's couple page. It will be in the link below. And yeah, see you guys later. I like later. Bye.